Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a follow-up video from yesterday's video, or to yesterday's video. Wanted to let you know what the end result was on a couple of those products that I talked about in case you were interested in buying them. First of all, let's start with the MAC collection. Um, when I swatched the lipsticks that I bought, which I bought Mademoiselle and Summer Shower at the store, when I swatched them on my hand at the store, I swatched them individually on my hand and then I swatched the summer shower on top of the Mademoiselle and the end result in the store was absolutely gorgeous because it was the Mademoiselle is pink and then the summer shower is like a clear glaze with green shimmer or aqua shimmer and it was absolutely beautiful. But uh, when I did it for real on my lips, you couldn't see the summer shower at all. Um, I'm sure if I was like out in direct sunlight or something like that, you'd be able to see it. But what good is that? Because, you know, I'm not going to be outdoors. Where, that's not where people are going to see me. People are going to see me indoors. So, um... In retrospect, I would advise against the summer shower because it's just too subtle to show up um, or it doesn't show up in certain kinds of lighting. Uh, maybe the lights in the store, because they're so bright, uh, that's why it showed up. So, I don't know. But in normal, everyday, incandescent lighting, we'll say, it's not going to show up like it did in fluorescent. That's the best way to put it. Um... So I would say that I do like the Mademoiselle, but I would skip the summer shower. So that's what I have on my lips today. And then in order to get some sparkle on my lips, I put my MAC Via Veneto Dazzle Glass on top of those two products. Now the other thing I wanted to let you know about is the, um, the Omega, the MAC Omega eyeshadow that I bought to use as a brow powder. That was a fail as well. Oh my god, it looked so bad. And it's strange because I was just comparing the colors of the Omega eyeshadow to my Maybelline Definer Brow, and they're almost identical. So it must just be the fact that it's a powder that it didn't work for me. Because when I use the Maybelline Definer Brow, it's like a waxy type substance. So you're getting the pigment of the color mixed with the wax and it just blends seamlessly into your brows whereas with the brow powder it just sort of like rests on top so it looked totally fake uh, like it looked like I had just taken a pencil and drawn my brows on completely it didn't even look like there was any real hair there so I wiped it all off and um, well I wiped it off as best as I could and it's not a waste though because I didn't already have Omega eyeshadow anyway, so that's just one more color for the collection. It'll be fine as a, a neutral eyeshadow, so I'm going to end up depotting that and just popping it into a palette. Um, so yeah, those are the two things that I mainly wanted to tell you about, and I'm sure you saw the... Um, oh yeah, that was the other thing. There was one more thing. For anybody who watched my video right away before I put in the annotations, the um, Sally Hansen HD polishes that I showed you yesterday, I had said a couple times that they were limited edition. They're not. And then one of, um, someone had commented below that, that, you know, they let me know that they weren't, so I looked it up just to be sure. And uh, sure enough, they're not limited edition, so I added some annotations. So if you happen to see that video before I posted the annotations, I just wanted to let you know that there's no, like, big rush to go out and get these. But then again, you know, sometimes when they release new colors like that, if there's a color that you had in mind that you really wanted to get, sometimes it is hard to find once, once they've been sort of picked over and all that's left is the ones that nobody really wanted. <laughs> Um, so I did want to let you know about that. And um, those are the main three things that I wanted to let you know about today. I'm going to just go over what I'm wearing. I was going for a pink and aqua look today. So I've got my pink uh, Dan Skin shirt from Walmart on. And this necklace that June had given me has got 
pink and teal in it, close enough. And um, for products today, oh, I might as well finish with the, the accessories. Um, the ring is from Big Lots. The bracelet is from Kohl's. The watch is from Style & Company, um, which is a Macy's brand. And for makeup today, I'm wearing Guerlain Meteorites Foundation Primer. Revlon Color Stay Foundation, which I don't have to show to hold up because I finished it. So I threw the empty bottle in the trash. So I really, really want to start using using up a lot of the products that I have because I have so many. Um, so you won't see Revlon Color Stay for quite some time. It'll it should be very interesting after I go through these products to see what I end up buying next for foundations because I have so many that I really would like to go through and use them up but so when it does come time to buy one should be interesting to see what I buy but knowing me it's going to be something that I've never tried because I love trying new things so Revlon Color Stay Foundation Maybelline Fit Me Concealer Too True Cheek and Lip Tint in Blush Pink Ico Cream as a highlighter for face and eyes, Urban Decay Primer Potion. For eyeshadows today, I used Barry M Green Silver Dazzle Dust on my lids and Barry M Candy Dazzle Dust in the crease. And if I had thought of it, I should have used the MAC Aqua eyeshadow that just came out, well, that got re-promoted with this collection. So you could have seen what that looked like on, but... I thought of it after it was too late. Uh, my eyeliner is Milani Color Brilliance Eye Pencil in Aqua. My mascara today is L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And um, I probably have a little bit of the residue of the MAC Omega eyeshadow on. I tried to wipe it off as best I could, but I didn't want to go crazy because I didn't want to have to redo my makeup and end up with like white lines so I still have some of that on my brows um, and let's see what does that leave I told you the lip products already so that leaves my nails this is accessorized nail polish in soft jade so that's my pink and aqua look for today I think I may have stumbled across something that I'm really enjoying and that is taking a color and then taking a color on the opposite end of the spectrum and pairing it together like yesterday I did the coral and teal and today I did the the pink and aqua so I think this is uh, something I may be doing quite a bit it's it's a lot of fun so have a nice weekend you guys and um, just wanted to let you know about those things in case you were interested in those products. I would skip the MAC Summer Shower. And also, um, if you're a blonde, Omega, well for me anyway, Omega does not work on my brows. And I'm not sure if it's the color or if it's the fact that it's a powder, but way, way too dark for me. So I guess I'll stick with my Maybelline Definer Brow. So that's it for today, you guys. Sorry I was rambling a little bit because this should have been a very short video. And I'll see you probably Monday. Bye-bye.